Dynamic Routing Gateways, DRGs. So what is DRG? A virtual router that provides a path for private traffic. IPsec VPN or Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Fast Connect or both traffic goes through DRG. You create and attach to your VCN. So all the traffic from your data center, which either could be through Fast Connect or through IPsec VPN, we are going to talk about this later, have to go through dynamic routing gateways. DRG utilized, is utilized to peer VCN with a VCN in another region. So you are using DRG to connect to a VCN, which is in the cloud, which is the cloud network. And you do that when you connect from your data center. But again, you can use that to connect to VCNs within the same region. So you are not going to able to connect to a VCN which is in a another tenancy. So it has to be in the same tenancy. So let's talk about some of the features of DRG. A DRG is a standalone object. To use DRG, you must attach it to a cloud network. So you create a DRG and then you attach it as a created separate and then attach it to the cloud network. You want that DRG to be utilized. A cloud network can be attached to only one DRG at a time. So you cannot have multiple DRGs for a single VCN. And the same applies, a DRG cannot be attached to multiple VCNs. It only has can be attached to one VCN. So it's, it is one-to-one -one relationship. You can detach a DRG and reattach it anytime because it is created as a separate entity. So you can always do that. After attaching a DRG, you must update the routing in your cloud network to use the DRG. So you have to update your route tables to make that DRG a target. Otherwise, the traffic is not going to flow through that network. To de delete a DRG, it must not be attached to a cloud network or connected to another network by way of IPsec, VPN, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Fast Connect or remote VCN peering. And also the route table where if it is listed as the target, you won't be able to, to delete it. So you have to make sure that it is created as a separate entity and then attached to the cloud network and the route tables are updated accordingly to make that DRG a target. So if there is a link of any of this kind, you won't be able to delete that DRG. So this, this is it for DRGs, Dynamic Routing Gateways. We are going to walk through uh, some slides of how to, to create one. But as I mentioned in the past, this requires to have a data center in order to create a DRG, which we don't have. So we'll walk through the steps. It's very simple using the console. and uh, But we won't be able to create one. But at least you'll know you know, when you are part of a company which needs a DRG to be created and attached, you can use those steps. It's very simple, but you need to know that for your certification. Okay, let's move on to the steps how to create, attach, and detach a DRG to the cloud network. So we are here. Uh, we've got a VCN, existing uh, cloud network. Uh, let's create a dynamic routing gateway. It's very simple. The compartment VR is in database system. We can say DRG here and click create. And it's going to come back and say you've reached your service limits. So just make an assumption it's done. The next step is actually uh, if you had the routing gateway, you would have an option to attach it to a virtual cloud network and we would have attached it to this DRG cloud network we talked about. Now, once this is this attachment is done, and similarly, uh, to, to remove the DRG, you just would click and say, detach the DRG. And once it's detached and if there are no route tables 
using that uh, bout tables with rule, rules which have that DRG as the target, then you should be able to delete that DRG also. Next important step in setting up a dynamic routing gateway is actually to have a route table uh, which has the DRG as the as the target. So what I mean by that? So now this is the example we looked at in the advanced networking. So we have multiple subnets. We've got uh, public subnet one and uh, public subnet two. Then we've got the private subnet one and private subnet two. Now, in order for the data to, to flow to the data center, this all subnets need to have a route rule which makes DRG as the target. Now, the only way you can uh, do that is update the, the individual route tables for the public subnet and the private subnet. But if all of them are using the route table for the VCN, definitely then you can use, just update that one and you should be fine just updating that one so that is very important uh, you can create it you can attach the dynamic uh, routing gateway to to the virtual cloud network but still the route needs to be open and in order to do that you need to go to the individual subnets and go get those route tables updated if they don't you if they are using separate route tables and they are not using the default route tables for the vcn i hope uh, this helps understand how it works